Welcome to the Player Supreme Show at ZenMac.com. I'm your host, Player Supreme. Yeah, fellas, welcome to the show. And I gave Remo an assignment a week ago. He had one week to get laid. And he's reporting in what he learned from this assignment. And he's writing... Well, first of all, let me preface this by he got a bunch of flakes. Uh, I had him ho chase. Just as, you know, online, whatever. And he got a bunch of flakes and stuff like that. I wanted to show that ho chasing in any type of form just ain't going to produce good results. If you run up on a girl and you force eye contact on her, it's still not going to produce good results. Okay? You have to let the bitch choose. Let the bitch take a fucking breath of air. Stop sweating her tits. All right? So I'm recanting forced eye contact. In fact, just, just holistic. That's all I'm going to push now. Uh, I had run too many tr troubles with guys forcing eye contact and uh, getting bad results. Because they can't really tell if the girl's truly interested or just being nice. And I realize there is a problem in the community where fellas don't have empathy. So let's read what Remo said he learned. He said, Supreme, it taught me that not everyone is made to play this game. Some are out just to get a girlfriend slash wife. Others are looking to get better options. And for people like me, I want options. Okay. Uh, people like you, Remo, you got to start at the beginning, just like our brother DL does. You got to get you a girlfriend. Okay. You are not going to become a player overnight. You got to get that first girlfriend first. Then you play her. That's how you become the player. That's what you guys don't get. DL, you don't get that either. You got to get that first girl. Then you teach yourself how to be a player by playing her. Because what does a player do? He plays women. It's not You guys have the wrong idea. He's not this handsome, pretty boy, playboy that drives a sports car and rolls up to this girl's house and rolls to that girl's house. No. Take your mind out of the movies and let's put it into real life. Okay. He writes, but I also want that feeling that when I wake up, I feel like a king in my own world. you got to grow your game before you get that. You don't get it overnight. Okay? That'll be years off. It'll give you... It'll take you a couple of years, let me say that. Women are just an aspect of this. I know I have the heart of, for the game. I just have to push myself to make those changes because, I'll be honest... I know at times I lack motivation. That's why I'm opening up my coaching program. I'm going to take my seven steps and I'm going to turn that into a coaching program. Because a lot of guys, they don't, they don't do the, the, this, how do I say this? They don't do the work. They'll sit around the house. But when they got me breathing on them to get some assignments done, they get up and do it. All right. And this is not from excessive fapping. I stop that in December, I think he means uh, whacking off. It's just a mental block I have to burn it down. Women are neither easy or difficult to deal with. Like everything else in life, there are just certain ways of doing things. That's good. With the things I've gone through in life, I just was never able to develop the skills needed to communicate properly with women. I'm glad you mentioned skill because it's just a skill. Like typing on the computer real fast is a skill. You develop it. The game is not something you can just hit the ground running in. There are steps you have to take. So don't waste your time and energy. So I'll continue to make the changes in my life that I can be successful in the game and keep my eyes open. Remo, I don't think you think you gave me 100% also. I do not think you gave me 100% on this. I think you could have got there. He continues with a, looks like a text conversation or something like that. I don't know, but we'll go into it. I don't think I come off thirsty, but I do need to work on my conversation skills so that the transition from texting to talking on the phone is smooth and quick. Now I wish I had never put out the texting product. Did I say this warning uh, when I first put out the product, fellas? Watch weak men are going to run to texting and forget all about phone. All right, not being able to 
have to talk to me is problematic, which will eventually lead them to not wanting to even meet me. Good, glad you realized that. Example, this girl, I got her phone number and we were texting, but now she's ignoring my text. She, I just moved on. She, I just moved, should I just move on or just call her up? At Supreme, this girl, this is the girl who's, who I said had the chicken pox at the conference call, on the conference call. Okay, he writes, beautiful, you must be mixed. I didn't know you, you could mix cool and awesome to make a person. Never, ever do that ever again, Remo. Don't ever, ever do that again, okay? Don't blast out with some, some lame-ass comment. Never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, you listen to me? Don't ever do that again, okay? Never, fellas, blast out with a lame compliment like that. That's just, that's like PUA shit. That's how low I think of that type of stuff. She replies, hey, you're kind of weird. And I like that, LOL. See, she already thinks you're weird. Mr. Ultra, then you're in luck. I'm the, I'm the funny, don't ever, ever, ever talk about yourself like that. Get her to talk about herself. I'm the funny, witty, sarcastic weird. This ain't bad, though. Not the scary. I'll see, you brought up some negative shit. You do need to work on talking to women. The scary thing should not have been brought up. Because what, what you, when you put out words, fellas, when you put out words, that's what her mind gravitates to. So if you want her to think scary, chop you up in the freezer, say it. Or put it in writing. And that's where her mind will go. Am I making myself clear? So what you put out, she's going to focus her mind on, whether it's written or verbal. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is... Points for you if you know the line before my name. Huh? Okay, let's move on. Uh, she replies, Hi, Carol, LOL, how are you? Okay, this must be on a dating site. And instead of looking at his or the girl's profile, he straight up just hoe chased. Now, when I teach you to hoe chase online, I tell you to look at her profile, find something interesting you can make a comment on that requires her to answer you back. Okay? Uh, he replies, so now I'm worried you know my real name. You already admitted to being a biter. Try to be too funny too fast. This is where you should be getting, you should be doing your, you know, lightly doing some, you know, fact finding, information gathering. See where you have common grounds. If you do not have common grounds, it's not going to happen. All you're doing is waste, you know, entertaining the bitch. Okay? This is not... A seduction contact. There's nothing seductive about this. This is a guy trying to be cute, come in, being, trying to be funny, trying to talk, chat a bit of up. Okay, there's no fact finding. There, there's, there's no, really nothing here except banter back and forth, and that's all you get is banter back and forth. So she gets tired of it. Oh well, I'll take the chance. Anyways, I also do kickboxing. It's a great workout. But also tried to take boxing class as well. And that's him trying to show he's macho. And that's pretentious. And it can be a show off a little bit. Try to act like you're bad. Alright, she comes on. Who said you was... Who said you was... The word is B-I-T-T-E-R. Bitter. Oh, bitter. Okay, so... You already meant to being a bitter? I thought it meant a biter. I don't know what their language is, but anyway, uh, boxing, cool, but I, I don't hit hard enough. My name is blank, so she introduced herself. He goes, I must have misread your profile and got my hopes up. Ha ha. You can be trained, you can be trained to hit hard. Think about while you're, you're training, get a cool montage. It's cool, she replies. You mentioned on your profile from the Midwest 
what bots you to this is how it should have started now he's going into the actual what you should be doing like you know hey I see you from the Midwest what bought you out of New York City that's how you could have opened that whole thing that's how he could have opened it this was the bomb right here okay instead of starting with some beautiful you know nonsense shit blowing her head up bowing down scraping she replies I just came here to try new things randomly well what new things have you tried isn't that the next wouldn't that be the next logical question you would ask well what new things have you tried I haven't read ahead yet I want to see if he does the next logical thing or if he's going to do a PUA thing and jump around subject subject think of what to say next uh, you're brave but this is a great quality to have that shows you believe in yourself what motivates you yeah he's doing those PUA questions there's like a list of questions out there that PUA's you gotta remember PUA's started as nerds nerds don't get laid fellas women don't like nerds nerds create nerd questions they do nerd style that's why you come here to de-nerdify yourself so you can learn how normal people talk. I gave you what the next logical question was. Do you see the flow? Okay, so what random things have you done? Tell me about that. But he went on to, you're brave. And that's that style they, they teach, you know, give, you're brave. But that's a great quality to have. That shows that you believe in yourself. What motivates you? These are two deep of questions for young bitches online. Also, okay. I would have stuck with the what new, th what things you know, random things she's done. Uh, let's see, success and having an experience. So, what's the next logical thing? I'm not gonna look ahead. She just said success and having an experience. What triggers a normal man's mind? I want to know what, what kind of experiences. That's the first thing that I want to talk about. I can talk about her experiences, you know. Well, tell me some more experiences. I could lead her into, you know, talking about, uh, did you apply for a job? How was that experience for you, you know? What what experience have you had, you know, in the dating world? What experience have you had on the site? What, this all, everything that we are experiencing in life is experiences. So basically, it's she's, she's talking about life. Life. Let's see if he does the normal guy thing. I'm not looking ahead. Let's look down. How is your event company going? Huh. Okay. I also plan on going to business for myself. Where's, where's success experience talk? Where's the talk about success and experience? Where's the exploration of that subject? Two great subjects. No exploration of them. No digging into her mind. Where is it? I want to know. I want to know for me. You didn't give me some food here. I want to know what things she did randomly. I, I'm serious. I really want to know. I'm not joking, fellas. I really want to know those random things. I'm curious. Now I got to go contact her ass. <laughs> and I want to know what the experience is. Having some, what experiences? What do you mean? Then success. How do you define success? What defines success for her? I want to know. Because I am I come from the normal world. I want to know this stuff. I don't have a planned set of routines in my head I'm trying to spit out. I'm not, I don't want to talk about me. I want to explore her. I enjoy my... She didn't ask about your job. She did not ask about your job. I enjoy my job, but working for yourself is just... She didn't ask you any of this stuff. Do you guys see what he's doing? He, he, he ignored the chance that she put out there for him to take the bait. Because if he had taken the bait of experience, that showed he's like her. On the same realm, on the same ideology. She put out the key words, experience. Okay? And the other one, because she's quirky. Try new things randomly. Those are quirky things. New things randomly. My kind of person. 
an experience. You know how powerful those word that that word is experience. She wants to try an experience. What did you experience? You know, do you know what that means? How deep that can go? Sexual experience. Think about it. What did she experience sexually? Okay. Instead, he's replying like a PUA, thinking too much, not not listening, not paying attention. All right. <sighs> she replies, true, well, the vision and help is there, but I'm working on the time schedule and balancing. What do you do now and what do you like to do? She's trying to engage him. He should have been engaging her. I run an office for a French eyewear company called, J we'll just leave that. My son, Christopher speaks French. He's a French interpreter. Just throw it out there. But my passion is photography and meet multimedia. I used to teach it to ages 10 to 17. And I had my own TV show before on public broadcasting. I have a very creative personality. That's good stuff there. That make that looks good. If, if the brother puts up a profile, that shit should be blasted all over there. To show him doing this work. Because that pulls bitches in. The TV stuff. Okay? Showing how creative he can be. She goes, that's cool. You should totally go back to that when you can. Do you guys feel like her interest is waning a little bit? Well, let's see how it goes. Oh. I am. Okay. He goes, oh, I am. I'm getting my computer to handle HD video. Girls don't care about this stuff. Guys care about this. Do you see what he's doing? He's coming from, not a player. A player digs into a girl's mind. You don't give her dude, oh, you know, I got dirty shorts in, in, on, my, on the floor over there. Basically, all you're saying. And my socks are over there, too. That's all she cares about, this shit. And high red photos. See, he's going on about his passion, his love of photography. Does she and she into photography? If she's into photography, she would love it. If he had read his profile, she would be, they'd be talking about photography. Do you guys understand? By the way, I would love to take a couple of pics. Oh, my God. He did not say that. Yeah, he did. That should not have been introduced until they started to become friends. Not in the first contact. This is nervous conversation, and I'm getting nervous. You're very photo... I don't know if I can read this. The compliments. Women can see through bullshit, too. Imagine us walking through a park on a... Oh, no, you're not going to do that, too? Imagine us walking through a park on a beautiful day, capturing all of the great moments. No. No, 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 no. No. You can't mind fuck her just yet. You got to do that stuff later on. And thank you. What are you up to today? All kinds of boring stuff. She's replying short answers, too. He goes on and on. Look at his answers are long. He needs to start digging into her. All kinds of boring stuff. But after that, I was going to take a nice walk and snap some photos in Central Park. I haven't done that in a long time. Care to join me? Yeah, when it's warm. <sighs> How much more of this do I have to read? Of course, it was cold outside, so I only took... Huh? Wait, wait, wait. She asks, what are you going to do today? And he says, well, I was going to. Then he's replying, of course, it was cold outside, so I only took a small amounts of shots. Is this a different conversation? Let me see. 218, 758. No. Why does he jump to as if he had did it? Okay, now my head hurts. But I made everybody count. I usually get the best shots like that. Trying to get... I. This conversation is confusing. She's probably confused. 
She jumps up to, let's just go to the next one. Oh, what did you do today? Save the world or just a puppy? That's from that PUA stuff. Save the world or just a puppy. That's that PUA shit. Oh, that's right. Remo came from the PUA world. No wonder. I saved a pregnant woman from falling from a plane or I stayed in bed all day because I don't feel good. LOL. That was her answer to that. He says, LOL back. I can see you j j jumping out of a plane with a woman in your arms as you pull the parachute while the plane explodes in the background. I have fun chatting with you here. It's my number. Text me sometime or call. Uh, Remo, get your number out of there. Don't never put your number up on the site. And don't ever leave a girl's number. Uh, there are trolls that sneak around here trying to get at, you know, cause me problems. And they'll they'll do stuff. Like that troll that's trolling my YouTube site. You know, I can see him coming on here paying five bucks. Just to see find anything on me. Okay? This is a girl I text. We shared some pics, but she took down her profile. I'll attach the pics so you can see what she looks like. That's not important, as long as you like her. Okay, you don't put your girl girls out for other guys to like. You go for girls that you, that you know you feel an attraction for. The people on the internet, they're some dumbasses. Okay, they think a girl's got to look like a porn star. And uh, putting it, putting it up here, nah, you don't need our approval. Okay, lovebird, something or other, deleted. Okay, is that a screen name? That's a screen name. Huh. Okay, well, I'm not going to give the whole screen name out, but uh, she's right. My messy room, but thanks. Don't know what the first contact was. I wanted to see who would notice, and since you did, I took it down, laughed my ass off. I am creative, and I l like creative people. I write, draw, and stuff like that. How about you? Where's his? Where's your responses? That's really cool. Photography is important. I don't see your responses, but I'm looking at hers. Okay, I can't do this one because I don't see your responses. Uh, here's one down here. He's under a different screen name. Example, this girl and I were having a decent convo, but I haven't really received a reply. I'm just posting this so you guys can get an idea of how I chat with women on POF. Nothing much from this than that. Oh, that's her name. Okay. That was cute. Thanks. We need to see the first con first word you said to her. And it's probably one of goddamn compliments. Yeah. You're welcome. And I actually put the effort in and typed that one out. You put that there? Are you really mischievous? Or did you just think the name was, was cool? Okay. The first part of that is good. The second part, don't ever do that again. You're, it's like a put down. Or did you just think the name was cool? See how I'm saying it? Because that's how girls act. That's what goes off in their mind. That style. Are you really mischievous? Or did you just think that was cool? Okay. Uh, next. LOL. I got the name from a, from a book. It's called The Secret Language of Birthdays. I was born on the day of the mischievous maverick. Hence the name. Okay. Normal guy. Here's what I my response would be, would be. Secret language of birthdays? Really? Well, do you still have the book? Then she would say yes. Well, can you look up my birthday? Tell me what I am? And she, By the way, women love doing stuff like that, helping people out. They love helping. They love getting involved in stuff. So she would have went and we would have talked about mine. That would have started a whole new conversation. So who wrote the book? How they how they come up with this? That's pretty cool. That's normal. what normal people would do from the real world. Internet, internet people, dip something different. Let's see what he does. Look. Look, you Miss Creative. I think he wants to say, look at you, Miss Creative. I can tell by what you enjoy, you have a very tranquil personality. Or is there a rough ocean 
understand charming smile. I just got up. Hold on a minute, fellas. Hello, she says, nice observation, excellent question. There's no question there, really. Yeah. Or is a rough ocean understand, understand, charming smile? I guess I have a healthy balance would be the best way to respond. How would you describe yourself? I'm like a vast ocean, calm and rough. I tend to say very little, so the words I do speak carry... Me. That's out of a book. That's out of history. Walk softly, but carry a big stick. Teddy Roosevelt. I learned that from Clint Eastwood movies. Yeah. I just said something like that. His characters emphasize some of the greatest qualities men need in this world. So, so basically, you're telling her that you take your personality from a fictional character. Wow. How can you tell with so little interaction, she says. I can tell by the way you speak and your profile. It's just an observation. This is what he could have used to hook her into because those kind of people that go find the meaning of their names. If he had did my watercolor animal game, she would have been creaming herself. Those kind of people love that shit. And then you come off like, like you know something. You come off above them, they start worshiping you because they're instant followers, Okay. It's just an observation. I could be wrong, of course. Don't ever say I could be wrong. Never interject a negative. That's the weakness of your personality trying to creep out. Take the reins and, and ride it like a man. My father's from the Caribbean as well. Which part are you from? I'm from the Dominican Republic. Uh, my dad is from Antigua. And if it means anything, my mom is from Michigan, LOL. Do you feel at home by the ocean? Taking... This trying to mind do some mind fucking in some in the sun relaxing by the waves. That was just an example he writes. Okay, some photos. And one chick got a nice rack. Black chick with some big titties. Let's see. No, Master Mac, it is not good work there. Got a long ways to go to learn to focus on women and what they're saying. You got to pay attention to what they're saying, not think about what you got to say next, fellas. That's the key. You can't think about what you got to say next. If he had did this right, there could have been some good dates already set up for him right now with some attractive women. Okay, fellas, that's our show for the day. Peace.